So wheel talk, wheel life. So today we're reviewing a Vega Slick on the snow. So welcome to the channel. I greatly appreciate you spending the time. So I typically ride a Hoosier 5.5 to 6.0 treaded tire. You know, I just got a plus, so I'm not sure what we named this bad boy. You know, my other wheel's called the Side Chick. It's that pretty red one. But anyways, reviewing this on snow, you know, cruising the Vega on the ice is kind of treacherous. You know, you have a slick tire on snow. I mean, common sense says you're not going to get much grip. You know, it's not terrible if you take the turns very slowly. But as far as accelerating, you can feel it power surge. And then as you turn, you really have to delicately turn. So if you got the Vega Slick, not the best tire for ice, snow, sleet, slippery conditions. You know, Vega Slick, um, in my opinion, you know, of course it's just a comp opinion, but the handling of the Vega Slick compared to say the Hoosier Treaded, all conditions go with the Hoosier Treaded tire. Um, for this, this wheel, I will get the Hoosier 6.0. So you can see I, I can navigate the snow if you delicately turn. You know, I don't think, granted my treaded is on an XR. So here, we'll go grab it. So we're gonna murder out. There's the Audi. We're gonna murder out that plus, make it look like the Audi. So there's uh, Big Sexy herself. So we'll just show you the, the quick difference. Um, Yeah. So, I mean, you just get traction. Obviously, a treaded tire compared to a slick, common sense. But you can turn. I also highly recommend before you ride in snow, water, or anything, you do some waterproofing mechanism. I know there's actually a kit out there called the Badger Kit. If you look it up, badgerkit.com, or just search One Wheel Badger Kit. Um, the guys in our One Wheel owner group, really good guy, really good reviews. Um, I just kind of did some of my own precautionary wa waterproofing. Like I wrapped it, I flex sealed the control board where all those plugs are. So that's what I did. I have never had a problem with water. God forbid I have another one. But as you can see, I can turn. You know, I'm probably going seven, eight, nine, ten miles an hour. It's the wheel life, wheel talk. If you could do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to my channel. The next video should be in 3D starting Monday, 360 degree channels. So I uh, greatly appreciate it. Drop a comment down below, anything you'd like to see. Um, I wore the Jordan 11s, Jumpmans for these. These are championship Jordans. Get excited. So the nimbleness of the Hoosier is one other thing I, I really, really like. You can't do this on the Vega. On ice, just, you know, unless you like pop your hips, you know, but just to turn on a dime, you only get that, at least I do, I'm, I'm relatively new. I've only ridden a Vega. I've ridden a 6.0 Flight Fins Hoosier. Um, yeah, trust me, if you want to upgrade your wheel, your one wheel, it's all in the tire. All right, wheel talk, wheel life. If you made it this far, I'm incredibly humbled. Thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing. 
It's the Wheel Talk review. Don't be afraid. Get your one wheel wet. Handles fine. Just don't charge it when it's cold. That's the trick. Never charge your one wheel until it's that room temperature. All right, there they are. We got the side chick, the other chick, husband, wife. All right, it's the wheel life, the wheel talk. Appreciate you. Have a kick ass. Make today the best day you've ever had, because why not?